Hey guys, welcome back. This is Little Fever here, and today we are here for another haul video. And this is another online haul video, so this is not from a train show or anything, this is from trains.com. And so this one's a little bit of a smaller haul than I had the first time, and I'll link that one up here in the corner. But so it's a little bit of a smaller box, so I don't have to have the camera on the layout itself. But let's see. Gotta open this up. On the sides of the box here. Move the buildings out of the way so they don't get damaged anything while I'm unpacking. All right, there you go. Okay. All right, well, that's most of the paper out of the way. And you can see kind of what's inside here. So let's first just look at what is in this first little box here. And this is a small Bachman caboose, and it's from the Santa Fe. And I thought about getting this since I have so many other Santa Fe locomotives. So that's why I wanted to get this. Set that off to the side. This next thing is an Amtrak caboose. This is actually a pretty good deal to get this one. And it actually does match one of the locomotives I do have over here. And so this is my first time with an AHM caboose. Next three here are all just rubber banded together. And yeah, so let's open, I don't know which one this is. Oh, okay, there. Well, speaking about the Amtrak locomotive it goes with, there it is. I don't know the running condition of this locomotive and it seems to have lost a few parts in transit, but I can glue those on in a video. I'll get its couplers that fell off. Yeah. And so, as I said, this is my first time with an AHM locomotive. And so I don't know how they exactly perform firsthand, but it does seem to be fairly heavy, although the body does feel a little bit more plasticky and cheap than some Tyco engines that I have. But there you go. I'll explain more about this locomotive later. All right, on to the next little one here. There, okay. Now, here is a Santa Fe SD45, I think something like that. I cannot remember what the exact name of it is. I'll get it in the shot here. There you go. And so, the Santa Fe, the Santa, oh, Santa Fe fleet grows. And I'm going to have to replace couplers on this one because both of them broke. So this one's a pretty nice one. It's not got any damage on it. And I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna need to be fixed up a little bit. And it's a little bit dirty on the other side, so that'll have a video for itself. And then our last product here is another Alco locomotive. It comes with a lot of papers in it too. Clear that out. Wow, this must be parts. Parts of one parts. And here it is. This is an Alco PA. Let's see if I can get it carefully out of the box. This was one of the main reasons I wanted this lot because I don't have any Alco PAs. And this one's also going to need a couple around the front. I think that's what's in the parts box. But I've always liked the look at these engines and now I have a Southern Pacific engine to run. And I do like these shiny metal uh, housings or uh, bogies. So I think those are actually just metal. Yeah, those are cool to the touch. So that's die cast, that's really nice. All right, I'll get this stuff kind of cleared out of the way here and then we'll take a closer look of what all I got. All right now, as I was saying earlier, there's something very interesting about this locomotive itself. For instance, that its number and paint scheme do not actually belong to this class of locomotive. They actually belong to an SD9. So it's an interesting choice for AHM to make this style of locomotive because I can never find any images of the Alco with this running number and the Amtrak paint scheme. So I just find that interesting how this was chosen over, you know, an SD9 or SD7 of what it actually should be. But now let's see if this engine actually runs. So set in forwards. It's a very squeaky engine, so I feel like this thing could really use some 
oil in its system, so. But it does seem to squeak less in reverse. So let's get this one swapped out and then we'll test our next engine. All right, now onto the Santa Fe passenger locomotive here. Let's see if it's gonna go and so in forwards. Hmm. I think there's something, yeah, loose on the inside. So it's fighting around a little bit because I think if you, so if I hold the bogey still, there's still something rattling inside of there. So that's gonna have to be fixed in its own little restoration video. So right now this one is not a runner. So then we'll get on to the next locomotive. All right, now onto the Alco PA. Let's see if it's gonna run. So in forwards here. And this engine is an Atherton blue box. So it's not surprising to me that it's running so smoothly after all these years. It is having a little bit of troubles on the tighter curves here. But it does seem to be doing fine, just getting some warm ups after how many years? But I think this engine could definitely use some more lubricant and definitely be, still be maintained and redone after sitting around for, you know, who knows how long, but. All right, now let's take a closer look at the cabooses here, starting off with the Bachman Santa Fe one. It's a pretty simple design and I bet you Quite a few of you maybe even have this exact same caboose because I have heard and seen that it's not that rare, but it does have two nice little lamps up here. I don't know if these are from the factory or not, but they do look pretty nice. Just slide that one out. And now taking a look at the Amtrak caboose here. This one's pretty intricate for being, you know, an AHM product. I don't have too much experience with them, but this one is pretty nice in its detailing and its finish. You just see it reflecting in the light there. And the other side's pretty much the same. It does actually have some nicely detailed wheels. If you look down there, as well as the chains and the ladders and all that. So this one's a pretty nicely detailed caboose. Aside from some of the parts of the ladders have come off a little bit. That's not too hard to fix. Get that back on the track right, there we go. All right, now this is the conclusion of this haul video. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and making it this far into the video. I'd love to know what your favorite new piece I acquired was. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the restorations for all three of the locomotives coming in the future here, because even the Athro Blue Box has some issues kind of, and I don't want to be running it around with, you know, no oil or anything like that. And of course, you know, some of them are not the greatest runners, those two, but I look forward to doing those in the future. And I hope you guys too. And like always, I like to thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.